Hey, I got a new stirring in my heart for a new painting that I'm working on and I want to share it with you um, again It'll be the last part of the painting and this is the word that that the Lord gave me and it's in uh, It's in Isaiah 40 31 and this is for anybody who feels like they need strength You just feel weak in your heart and you need a brand new strength in your life. You need a brand new um, You need brand new energy brand new strength a, a brand new good attitude a brand new everything let me tell you, the Bible says that we can stand on His promises, that no matter what you ever go through, no matter what you deal with, you can find strength in the Lord, and strength in His promises like nobody else can give you. And and um, so I want to share with you the scripture that He gave me, and it's in Isaiah 40, um, it's in Isaiah 40, 28, and it says, Have you not known, and have you not heard, the everlasting God, the Lord, the creator of all the ends of the earth, neither faints nor is weary. In other words, he's saying, have you not heard that I don't get tired and I'm not weak and I'm not lazy? I'm working towards you and for you every single day. I look towards the very best and towards your very best interest. I have great plans for you and don't worry. I never get tired of working on your behalf. I love you. And this is what he's trying to tell us. I don't grow weary and I don't grow weak. Okay, he doesn't faint, nor is he weary. His understanding is unsearchable. In other words, you think that God don't understand your situation, uh, but right here it says, his understanding is unsearchable. In other words, he understands. There's nothing you could ever go through that God does not understand. Amen. Um, that's why he can be our high priest, because there's nothing we can go through on this earth that he has not gone through already. And he's saying that, we can't even search out his understanding towards the things that we go through. He understands everything perfectly and he cares about you. And it says he gives power to the weak and to those who have no might, he increases their strength. When you feel like you don't have no might, no energy, no strength, no power, it says it is then that he increases your strength. When you feel like you have none at all. And it says, even the youths shall faint and be weary, and the young men shall utterly fall. But those who wait on the Lord shall renew their strength. Amen. He will renew your strength if you wait on Him. Those who wait on the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up on wings like eagles, and they shall run and not grow weary. They shall walk and they shall not faint. Amen. Do you need a brand new strength today? I pray that in the name of Jesus Christ, that God releases a portion of brand new strength over you, that he breathes a breath of fresh air over you right now in the name of Jesus. Whatever you're going through is nothing, is nothing compared to the goodness and the greatness of God. The Bible says, I count all my problems and anything in this world, good and bad, as worthless compared to the infinite knowledge of knowing Jesus Christ as my Lord and my Savior. Nothing else matters when you got a relationship with Jesus Christ. He loves you. I hope you're blessed with this painting. I hope it inspires you. I hope it encourages you. And my prayer is that God would use this prophetic painting uh, to give you a brand new strength. This prophetic painting, uh, this worship painting, to, to build you up, to strengthen you, to give you some sort of revelation that maybe you've been searching for. The Bible says those that wait on the Lord shall renew their strength. So this painting, this canvas says that in your worship and in your praise and in your no matter what happens, I'm going to praise you and I'm going to worship you, Lord. I don't care what people think or say about me anymore. I need you, Lord. I acknowledge that I need you every single day. And when you do that, and that's your heart, is that no matter what, you are bent towards God and he is first priority in your life. And he is the main thing in your life. When you do, oh man, just be patient. Because the Lord will renew your strength. He'll pour out a brand new strength on you every day. A brand new grace on you every day. Amen. Are you ready? Let's get, let's get to town on this. I hope you enjoy it. I hope you're blessed. Turn it up, baby. I have a sister, uh, sister in Christ, Heather Wilkins.
he always says, let your praise be louder than your storm. Let your praise be louder than your problem. Amen. Let your praise be bigger than what you're going through right now. For you experience breakthrough. I know you will. telling me right now, I feel I'm speaking to my heart, I feel I'm telling somebody right now, that problem that you're going through, that stump that's in the middle of the road, whatever it is, I feel him saying, that's not yours, that's mine, I want to take it off your back, I want to carry it for you, but you don't let me, and I feel the Lord saying, let me carry your weight for you, so whoever that is, whatever you're going through, whatever you're carrying, you know you don't need to be carrying that. You don't have to carry it no more. Don't play victim. You're not a victim no more. You're a victor. You're the head and not the tail. You're above and not beneath. The Lord is saying, give it to me right now. When you try to take care of a situation by yourself, what ends up happening is you make a bigger mess out of it. Amen. Me and you are good at making a mess out of problems. Give it to God. Give it to God today. No matter what it is, give it to God. You say, let me pour, let me pour a brand new strength over you. Let me pour a brand new grace over you. Let me pour a brand new anointing over you, woman of God, man of God. You say, give it to me, give it to me, give it to me. When it pours out a brand new strength on you, it'll pour onto everyone around you.
the work. So we want to look back on that problem you have, that's not nothing to God. Let your praise be louder than your problem. I promise you, the Lord says that you'll have breakthrough. You got to know God is good. He says, have you not heard? In other words, he's telling us, hey, nobody told you how good I am? That's what God's telling us. Did anybody tell you how good I am? God is good.
God. Amen. Glory to God. Stay encouraged. There's nothing too big for God to handle. Amen. God bless you.